Hey everybody, it's Josh. I just want to take a minute to go over the Claude Agent I've been uh, working on to trade the NQ. It took this short right here, targeting this gap down here. Um, this is the report that it wrote up. It's It has to give me a long setup and a short setup, and then which one does it favor. And that's what it is here, but let's go back and I'll just show you from the beginning. So like before, it's scanning all the historical data that I get from NinjaTrader to find the fair value gaps. It's also working on levels. Right now I have it set to 100. I think I'm going to change it to 500. I'm sorry, yeah, 500. To watch out for every 500 points and see how that works. But here's what it's sending off to the agent. But at the end of the day, which setup is better and why, or why neither is tradable. And it's going off the 2175 and the 150 EMA with the custom stochastics. And I like it stretched out at 90, 10, not 80, 20. But anyways, it, uh, let's see, here's what it just came back with. Short setup is superior, discord, rally to entry, market shows critical overall conditions. Reversal reached. And let's see. Here is the Claude Trader, the behind the scenes. It works just like the fair value gap trading bot with the historical data. The live feed. And the trade signals. But I'm trying to basically teach it to trade how I would trade. I This was a gap fill right here. And I would be looking to go short at least back to the EMA after it being away from the EMA for so long. Every time it goes away for so long, it comes back get so far away comes back and there's also when the EMAs are in the downtrend like this you can pretty much sell anytime it gets above 90 and make money this is questionable because it is over if I were to switch to a slower moving average like the 200 it would still be under but I don't know. That's where the it's it's up to the agent to decide. But either way, I'm going to keep working on this for a few days and then I will get it posted on GitHub. Thanks for watching. Bye.